people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pase, what they do. Now, people, the first part of this video is a big problem that we have in Jamaica. Is that the people, them dark, them fuffle, them hot-headed. And they don't know how to resolve any sort of problem. Unless them basically take it to the worst extent. Unless basically somebody basically lose them life or somebody gets hurt. Now, people, in this video, this is a perfect example of the average person of how they think in Jamaica. Well, not actually the average person, but just as a, a big problem that exists in Jamaica where people can't reason out anything. And the first thing that they do, them run go for a big stone or them run go home go pick up a tool and come back and try to resolve the situation. We are speaking about putting somebody down a dove cut. So anyways, people, I want you to take a listen, take a look at this video, and then I'll give my piece. Yeah, my one man. Yeah, man, Samson. Mm. So this is the level of stupidity that we're dealing with in Jamaica. Now, one customer claim another customer cut him off on the pump and they are arguing about it. Now, both co um, drivers are in their cars, but the two passengers are the ones that are instigating the fight. Till this passenger open the door, look out, to hear what the other passenger is saying or the driver is saying in the other car whatever the, the person said must have irritated him so much that he decided he's gonna come out of the vehicle and go and get a big stone get a big stone to now come and throw it inside the other person's car now my thing is this what could the person have said to you that you decide you're gonna throw a stone in the person's car and you couldn't just walk away from it. Look at that. Throw it in the person's car, the person decide him going to drive him down and kill him. If not for the grace of God, he could have been between the two vehicles. Only because him think him have a license firearm or him feel him have a license. Him could have with the in him waist they even touch it. He could have dead. He could have been right now over stupidity. Could have, um, I hope him see this video and look back at it and see how stupid he is and change him life and realize a gun can't save him. And God said in angels to save him that he no get pin and between that blue car and, 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 and the pro box that just crush him. And I hope him see this video and, and change him life and, and uh, all time life and get rid of that hearted mentality why him have. Hope him see it and change him life. And then, why I tell you, I don't know what to say, man. Jamaica, America, London, Canada, what you guys think? Come here, post it. Now, people, this is my disclaimer. I don't know if this video is old or it is new. I've never seen it before. However, the message is going to be the same. So therefore, if you've seen this video, if you spend your entire life on social media and see every video, allow other persons to be a scholar seat and comment. You know, if you comment and talk about it already, lele, blue, blah, bling, just bounce and find something for do. Now, people, one of the biggest problems that I find with Jamaica is a lack of respect. We are speaking about impatient. We are speaking about persons that don't know how to reason. I am speaking about just a blatant lack of respect for anybody and don't respect people's right. Now, the reason why I say that is based on the person that is narrating this video. He said that one person skipped the next person in the line we are talking about at the gas station. Now, people have had several instances where people don't really respect the rights, don't respect the fact that you're in line and people cut line. One time I went to the gas station and I was getting some air. We are speaking about air in the tire and people, there was a long line. So, therefore, when I went, I saw at least five persons be a scholar waiting. So, 
therefore I was a six person. However, as soon as I reached the pump, somebody power one bike or a man the power one bike him roll up and run right in front of me and basically start to use the pump. So I said to him, brother, you know, sister people are waiting. You know what the man said to me, people? Him said, you know, sister is a bike tire. The whole I don't have care. When I eat that tire, what? You know, sister, the bike tire smaller. So therefore, he was basically telling me that he had the right because him tire smaller. So therefore, he is going to finish quick. So therefore, him can't wait. So the point that I am trying to make is that people don't have any respect. And a lot of times you see people getting passed away. And a lot of times you see persons getting hurt. It is because of lack of respect. It is because people are very impatient. It is because people head too hot. Them too dark and fuffle. May I talk about them mad, sick, them head no good. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word. Don't put any space between the words. And people, I will be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also subscribe to this channel where I'm speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. So the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the UK Privy Council, they have ruled on a case that has been going on between the Popo Federation and also Indicom. And people are speaking about a case that is going on in excess of nine years. So we are speaking about almost a decade. So based on the ruling, we are speaking about the latest ruling of the Privy Council. They said that Indicom does not have the power to arrest and prosecute. We are talking about Popo in any incident. We are speaking about any sort of case. Now, people, we see that it got the response of the Indicom boss. We are speaking about a person whose name is Terence Williams. And he said that he is deeply disappointed because based on information, he said that the Joint Committee of Parliament, they basically had a meeting maybe about four years ago and they are supposed to reform. We are speaking about the Indicom Act. However, people understand as it pertains with anything to do with the government of Jamaica, they are very slow. We are speaking about like molasses running down the street in Alaska. We are talking about Pana Flat Street. So people, we are talking about they move at a snail's pace. So anyways, we are speaking about the person from the Popo Federation. He has also responded. We are speaking about a person whose name is Patrick Rowe. He said that he is pleased with the ruling. And people, I understand because we see the Popo Federation and also the Minister of Security. We are speaking about Dr. Horace Chang. They are always picking up for the officers whether they are right or whether they are wrong. However, the UK Privy Council also determined that Indicom can prosecute any case that arises out of an investigation, such as if a popo put up resistance, if a popo obstruct justice, or even if he gives false testimony. So basically, the Privy Council rule in the favor of Indicom as it pertains to a case we are speaking about an appeal of, we are speaking about a deputy superintendent of Popo, we are speaking about a person whose name is Albert Dyer that was convicted and found guilty for basically breaching the Income Act. He was found guilty in 2014 and he basically committed the offence. We are speaking about back in 2013 where some officers were involved in a fatal S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G and this man basically tell the Popo them, don't turn over on a G-U-N-S to Indicom come for investigation or ballistic. So people, we are speaking about a popo, we are speaking about a top cop, we are speaking about a person whose name is Albert Dyer and he was convicted back in 2013 and then we are talking about the Popo Federation and also we are talking about the Supreme Court basically overruled the case and basically found him not guilty. So anyways, the Privy Council is saying that in that case, this man supposed to be found guilty or the case is supposed to go back to trial because he should not have been released because he basically breached we are speaking about the Indicom Act so therefore Indicom had the right to basically arrest and prosecute him because he did something wrong he basically breached the protocol 
So people, the moral of the story is this. This is one of the reasons why there is a double standard of justice in Jamaica. Because we see so whenever the poor poor do anything wrong, we are talking about the Minister of Security. We are speaking about the poor poor federation. They are always going to back them and they are always going to basically afford them the best lawyers. We are speaking about that money can buy. We are talking about in the likes of Peter Champagne and also Bert Samuels. So people, we are speaking about a system of justice that is very injured. So anyways, the Indicom boss, we are speaking about Terence Williams, he is saying that the Joint Select Committee of Parliament should have already basically reformed, we are speaking about the Indicom Act, to make sure say, Indicom can basically arrest and prosecute these thieving and these con police point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.